What's up, everybody? It's the Quarter Guy, and welcome back to an extra episode of Let's Play Mega Man ZX Advent, part of the Mega Man Zero ZX Legacy Collection. Now, before we get to the final true episode, there is a, some, a bunch of other stuff I want to show you. First off, through my playthrough, I've been playing as Ash, but just so that you know, there are some significant differences with Gray's story, so I'm going to show you his first off. But before you do that, as always, if you are enjoying the Let's Play, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share it around. And don't forget, there is still my Extra Life campaign. If you want to donate, go to www.extra-life.org slash participant slash the quarter guy. All proceeds will go to Children's Wisconsin to help sick and injured children. So, uh, how about we take a look at the other side, shall we? For one thing, Gray has different abilities and a different intro stage. Let's have a look. Well, how's that lock coming? This is one tough nut to crack, but I'm almost there. Yes! Got it! We're in. So, these hunters have been looking for something, and... Not sure what it is, though. Not again! It looks like this isn't it either! I was hoping we'd find it on the first try, and show it off to the guys back at Hunter's Camp. Hey, there's something in there. What the? A Reploid kid? No way! What's it doing here? Hey, don't touch it. If you trip the security, we'll have mechanoids crawling all over us. So yeah, the Reploid in the capsule, that's gray. And it looks like the mechanoids are here. And it looks like there's a real firefight going on here. And this is how our protagonist is set to awaken prematurely. Ooh. That did not end well for them. Looks like he's coming unplugged. Oof. He's taking some time to see what's going on around here. What the? What, what happened? Where am I? Who am I? Oh, I can't remember anything. Uh, who are you? Pandora. I am Pandora. Gray, I'm here to dispose of you. Gray? Is that my name? What do you mean, dispose of me? You are like me, a Mega Man, but you were awakened before the mind control sequence was completed. Mega Man? Mind control? What have you done to me? Ugh. Defectives must be disposed of. I don't think this guy will be needing his weapon anymore. Uh oh. Why did she call me defective? Anyway, 
I have to find a way out of here before they kill me. All right, so. Gray has a more rapid fire shot in human form than his uh, counterpart, Ash. But slightly less attack power. Wait. Was he the other way the way I... I forget. Anyway, this is the same mysterious lab where we ended up fighting Headshock in that, in both stories, but uh, only Gray has this part of the mysterious lab to cover. And just like Gr Ash's stage, there is a uh, full health pickup there. And he encounters the poisonous gas far sooner. Hup. Hup. Let's take care of these guys. And Gray ends up facing the same boss in his intro stage. Yep, we're facing a Dogooga the Giant here. Though we have a bit more real estate available to us. Ah, looks like looks like this one has attacks that are different. Uh-oh. Nope. There we go. But this is going to result in a bit of a rough landing. And he wakes up just like Ash did in the same infirmary. Calm down, okay? Are you here to kill me? I'm the one who found you outside the camp. Put down your weapon. I'm not going to hurt you. You helped me? Yeah, don't mention it. But what's your name? And what the heck happened to you? Gray. At least that's what she called me anyway. When I woke up... I was inside some kind of building, and there was a woman. She said her name was Pandora. Right before she tried to kill me, I ran. Everything after that is a blur. Well, there must be some reason you can't remember. Don't let it get you down. It'll all come back to you. This is Hunter's Camp, a gathering place for bounty hunters. They're a pretty rowdy bunch, but they're all good people. It's good to have guys like them around. Hey, you haven't had a chance to see the camp yet. Okay, exit this room and meet me at the trans server next door. There's something I want to show you. All right, so... Uh, um... Uh, thank you for saving me. Like I said, don't mention it. I'm sure you would have done the same for me. He's not sure he... Gray's not sure he would have done the same thing because he didn't know who he was. But anyway, that's how Gray's story begins. The dialogue throughout his story is actually quite different from Ash's, including some certain twists, but... Uh, anyway, that's going to be a long time to cover, so I won't do that. However, if you'll allow me to switch to another save file... 
Okay, this is the expert mode file that I cleared with Gray off screen in a previous playthrough. I wanted to show you some of his gameplay differences. <clears throat> First off, his charge shot is a standard full buster shot, like you'd see from Vent or Ale in the first ZX or from Mega Man Zero. Whoops. Hup. And his alternate fire is a bit different too. It can attacks targets simultaneously instead of one after another in sequence, like Ashes did. And he has some differences with the other Mega Man forms. For example, this is the down attack he has with Model ZX. And for Model H, a double cyclone attack forward rising up and down. For Model F, a fireball and a ground wave. And for Model L, his charge attack is an ice dragon, which will home in on an enemy. And for Model P, we have the shuriken. Hup! That's pretty much all we have here. Okay, I also want to show you one of these mini-games. Now, if you meet certain requirements, you can unlock these mini-games. You have a boss rush here, a quiz game, and this is the most interesting of the three here. It's an 8-bit mini-game that harkens back to the NES Mega Man games, complete with pixel graphics and chiptune renditions of ZX music. 8-bit green grass gradation here. And you play as the 8-bit uh, Mega Man Model A. All right, so... Let's make our way through here. Hup. This way. They even make the little plink noise. Hup. There we go. Ooh, one up. Wanna grab that? Unfortunately, you cannot pause the game to see how many lives you have left, so... Boss gate time! Even the classic boss gates, but, uh... This is the closest you'll be able to get through jumping through the boss gates. Alright. Now the boss will fire these crystals. Boss has no iframes, so I can pelt him with it, with my buster. Now the yellow crystals will bounce off the wall, but the blue crystals will stick in the wall. Hup. Hup. And the first boss is beaten. On to area two. Energy. All right, let's move. Wouldn't be an NES-style Mega Man game without Yoko Blocks, am I right? Wait for it. All right, got to the, the 
the health back up there. Okay, wait for that guy to move to the other side. Twitch carefully. Don't want to double tap because that'll make me slide. Made it! Wait for it. Got the one up there. Hup. Ah, crap. Wait for it. Wait for it to come back. Health pick up. All right, second boss gate. Slide through. And it's second verse, same as the first. Well, maybe not quite the same as the first. Though it can start off the same as the first. He can he can attack with crystals from the uh, from the air now. Whoops. Again, no iframes. Second boss beaten. Now, to reach the third stage, you have to beat the game in expert mode. Okay, that was probably for the best. Hup. Oh, great. Ah! All right, make it up here. One last Yoku block. Ah! Made it! Wait for the jump.
Getting close, I can feel it. Looks like there's one last Yoku block thing here. Wait for it. Wait for them to turn around. Alright, final boss gate! Slide through. Oh, here we go. Now he only has two attacks, those, uh... Spark drops and those, uh, warp shots. All right. Wait for it. Come on. Wait for it! Almost there! Got it! And he's begging for mercy! <laughs> Congratulations, Metchit there, too! Yes! Actually, I think this is the first time I've ever beaten the whole thing. But... Yeah! That's the Mega Man A minigame. A little something extra for those of you who like a little throwback. But, next time, it's time to bring an end to all of this. Get out to Euroboros and take the fight to Master Albert himself. And it is there where all will be revealed. Look forward to then. Thank you all again for watching. I'm the Quarter Guy, and until next time, the arcade is closed.